pretty cool. Like from where we were 10 years ago to where we are now is, is pretty amazing. Oat whiskey. When you get beer made from oats, you get a creamy palate feel. It translates into whiskey as well. So some of the craft guys are using not just, they're using traditional distillation methods, but they're going at it more from a brewer's approach. It's like we're starting to see the mesh between whiskey and beer in that they're not just using grain as a means to harvest sugar for the yeast to ferment. They're actually going about it with a brewer's mentality. They're using, um, you know, malted oats. They're using coffee malt, not just in victory pills malt. They're using different style of malted barley to get different flavors, different textures in their whiskey. And it's, it's great. It's wonderful. The way the, it's given us so many options that we didn't have a few years ago. So Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson has a very special place in my heart. And it's for a very specific reason. In 2007, when I moved out to LA, I was absolute destitute broke. I wasn't part of the industry. I was a plumber by trade. And, um, I just gotten into it and we had set up a tasting with a, with a retail client and it was a, a whiskey education class and Michael Urquhart from Gordon McPhail, a great guy who knows so much about whiskey was going to be our guest uh, speaker. And for one reason or another, he couldn't make it out. So they sent out a guy from Chicago and, um, that guy ended up getting, I can't remember who it was, but he ended up like just, he just wasn't having an on day. He was having a bit of an off day. He had a little bit of stage fright, was mumbling into the microphone. 65 people, the room is full, and this thing's quickly going into a disaster. And um, I'm panicking because it's my first season I've ever done. I've just gotten into this. I'm thinking, oh, my job's gone. And uh, another guy from the company was there, and he, was, he didn't know anything about whiskey, but he was willing to kind of take a chance. And he went up on stage, and he started talking about what he tasted. And while he did that, I grabbed... Michael Jackson's book and started flipping through and reading about the distilleries and I'll never forget this as long as I live like one of the whiskeys coming up was Glen Grant and we all know when you have an exam and you haven't studied you have a flash memory of about seven eight minutes that you can just memorize everything and get it out there and then get on with your life so I turned to the page on Glen Grant read about it and then went up there and just spewed everything that I had just read from Michael Jackson's book and it went off excellent like people people really appreciated getting that extra bit of knowledge and um we made it through the taste and everything went fine a bunch of bottles were sold and at the end of it i swore that that would i would never allow that to happen to me again so i just started studying 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 and then within 12 months i was teaching classes and and the rest is just kind of history like it i just I guess michael jackson's book ended up launching my career as being a whiskey educator and i've never looked back so i'm very grateful i still have it like it's an old edition i'll never throw it away del lock so these guys, Steve and Paul. So Whiskey Del Bach, Hamilton Distillers. Um, these guys have a special place in my heart as well because as far as craft distillers go, they are approaching it with a massive amount of respect to Scotch whiskey and yet they're still trying to make it their own. They're not trying to clone what's happening in Scotland, but they're trying to learn from what they're doing and then put their own terroir spin on it. So they got the, the Del Bach Dorado, which is a mesquite smoke whiskey. And it's 100% malted barley, and it's 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 putting new and used oak casks. And in Tucson, Arizona, in the Sonoran Desert, you've got a different aging profile of the environment than you will anywhere else in the world. And so it makes it uniquely its own. Like this whiskey is unlike any other whiskey. This whiskey is unlike any other whiskey that you might that you might ever have. And that's kind of the coolest thing about the craft distillers is that they will as they come into their own, because it is still very new, but as they come into their own, they're gonna find their own signature. And each one of these guys is gonna leave their mark on the history of whiskey, and it's going to be beautiful, just because it, it will be. Like, it, it's it's just like Michael Jackson loved McAllen. McAllen had a very specific house style that made it the McAllen, it made it a great whiskey. Lafroig has that same thing. Kill Holman has that same thing. These smaller guys in the United States, they will, they will, produce and provide that their own signature as well and it's going to be great.